Hey there guys, it's Alex, and I'm bringing you a game of Search and Destroy and Crash. This will be my second Crash Search and Destroy, and probably my best one. I don't really know what the score was on the other one, but this one's good. And um, I went flawless with one of my favorite guns, which I try to get good games with just because it's so much fun to use. Call it the Surgeon, that's the FAMAS with the red dot. Uh, don't throw a silencer on it because it messes with the sights, and I don't want to put bling on. And this is kind of like a class I'd use in like Demolition or Domination, any other game type. So it's pretty normal, it has stopping power, sled hand, and ninja, and um, it's just one of my favorite classes to use. I love the precision that this gun has, and you'll get to see it right here. So I see a guy in that window downstairs, and I see a guy up here. He shoots me with a sniper, but uh, I'm able to take him out with the FAMAS. You got to see its accuracy. Uh, it's a really fun gun, it's not a gun that you'll worry about uh, running out of bullets with. And there's a sniper up there, he, he glitches, he like sticks his head through the wall, and I'm able to see him. Which is something that happens sometimes, someone when someone... Sometimes when someone goes prone uh, against the wall, you can actually like see like their legs stick out sometimes, and you're, you can shoot through the wall, and then he'll be really surprised uh, about how he died. But there we go, three easy kills right at the bat. Called him my UAV. See, there's a guy back there, but um, just because it started out so well, I didn't want to take a death early or you know, almost take a death early. There, go over Claymore, just jump over it. It wouldn't have killed me anyway. And the snipers deal, um, you know, deal with each other right there. Here's the game winner and uh, or round winner. And the FAMAS is a good weapon for the or good weapon for this map because I can use it on top of the building with the bomb in it. That being A, um, I can use it in the kind of area where I the building right here that I used it before and got those uh, you know early kills in. And you know it has a decent it has decent close range capability. But um, I have the G18s like on all my classes. I have the G18s, and uh, that's that's just kind of like the close up protection that I have. In, uh, in case I have to go into a building like this, but I really do like this gun. I love its precision. I love its rate of fire much better than the M16, which people compare it to. I compare it more to the ACR actually. Uh, there are a few differences. The FAMAS actually, I believe, shoots faster if you can pull the trigger faster. Uh, but it's a three-round burst, and three-round bursts are harder to use than uh, you know the ACR than like a fully automatic ACR. And the ACR has slightly less accuracy, but the ACR's accuracy is you know basically perfect. There's like no problem with it. But um, both are superb guns. I prefer the FAMAS just because it's more interesting, and you know I don't really see people use it too often. I think that's because people have problem with problems with their trigger fingers. That's why they don't use the FAL too much. Uh, that kind of thing. And uh, if you if you have a good trigger finger and you're pretty accurate with you know weapons like these, then I suggest you try it out because it's, it's a really fun gun to use. Love the precision, one burst kill to the chest or torso area. And uh, I think those are good reasons enough to use it. So you see right there, I got my Predator. I don't know if I have six or five kills right now. But anyway, I'm going to be cautious right here. Just because I really don't know where the last guy is. I think he's near here. And I know some people sometimes hide in the building uh, up there. So I throw a stun in. I'm just being really careful because some people do stay back here with snipers. And I don't want to be uh, fall prey to them by going back there right now. So pull out the G18s though. And I saw someone died over here. And uh, just keep him right there. And walk into the wall, keep shooting at him. So six kills, this is a great scenario for me. Because uh, six kills, if I get one with the Predator, all I need is one, then I can pull out my Harrier. And that's great, only having you know, knowing that you only have to get one kill uh, with the Predator. It takes out all the uncertainty of you know only getting one kill with the Predator. And, uh, then having six kills and having to get seven. Because I've gotten buzz killed a lot of six kills. So just waiting my ten seconds, being really cautious right here. I really don't want to die. Looking for that one kill, and I see the one kills right there, and that's easy. So there we go, there's the Harrier. And that's really the ultimate goal I have when I play Search and Destroy, is to get that Harrier out. Uh, one of our guys planted a bomb up there. So now I'm going to be careful, but I am going to move towards that area and try to back him up. I know I'm having a good game right now, so I don't like to take deaths. Uh, I see some movement and some shooting over there, so I'm just going to aim here. And some guy pops out, and I'm able to get him right there with two bursts. And... Um, I see a guy behind him, but the sniper's actually faster than able to get him, so this is, a, this is a pretty cool kill cam. Plot of the guy for this. So we got the guy behind the car, and then he turned around and was able to get a nice scope. I don't know what I don't know what that's called, I guess drag scope on the guy who was behind him. So I thought that was really cool. Great kill cam. And uh, But I'm happy right now because I got my Harriers out. Or I'm going to get my Harriers. So go behind this little AC unit right here and just wait my 10. And uh, call them the Harriers. I'm really not sure where to call it, so I just put it right there. Because uh, in other game types, especially Domination, that's a really good spot. You put it on that alley right there. 
guy in that building and he gets lots of kills uh, most of the time. And um, I, I'm just not trying, I don't want to like stop moving but um, I don't want to take any deaths so you know I'm just kind of, I'm still moving so it doesn't look like I'm camping at all. But I am playing really conservative right here. And I see a guy right there, I think he can kill me but the Harrier uh, saves my life even though I put a route, I put a burst into where he would have been. So throw a stun out right there. And G team and Kimbo, and I just sit up on the stairs because you know that's where I, that's where someone's going to come eventually. I know that for sure that someone's going to come up these stairs because you know to get into this building there were, there are only a few ways, and people take the easiest route, and that's what this uh, this little door right here and those stairs to go right up. So if that guy watches that balcony right there, and I watch right here, uh, there is a way to get in to the very top if they climb up the ladder, but um, that's really unlikely. So I'm basically trying to cover the only ways in here. So just pointing my guns right there and just waiting for someone to walk through. And I know it's campy, but um, we're on defense, so you're kind of allowed to do that. Uh, plus, and yeah, we were on offense for the other three rounds, so I think I deserve to camp a little bit. Plus, though, I know what I'm doing. So I don't really think it's camping when... Uh, I don't think it's camping when you know what you're actually trying to accomplish. And right here, I do know what I'm trying to do. Uh, just trying to cut them off from this bomb site completely with the G18s. But um, we see that he's really far off in the corner. I check my, I pull up the start menu because that shows where the red dots are, in um, in a more comprehensive way. Like right here, I can see the red dots on the map, but it's uh, it's off the middle mini map here, so I don't know exactly where it is. So I know he's in this building right here, or I believe he is. I don't know exactly where he is at all though. Pull out those trusty old G18 Akimbo, and I think that my guy's like right next to him trying to do something. But it turns out the guy is actually right here. So I just freak out, he misses the knife, and I close it out. He, the, my guy was like trying to, sh um, what's it called? Get a wall bang on him, he's shooting through the wall and trying to get him. But here, just go in and able to take that guy out. So, there's my game. Flawless, it's a great game. One of my favorite games that I've ever had because, you know, it was with the FAMAS, one of those great guns that I just try to get good games with. There you go, 11 kills, 0 deaths, and assist. Um, a really fun game that I played in. And, uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching, remember to rate, comment, subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video, favorite this video, do all those things, and um, uh, you know I'll try to bring you more Search and Destroy gameplay, because I think it's, um, it's a really, really fun game type to watch, and yeah, so uh, just thanks for watching again, and goodbye.